Chris here and welcome to my channel. In today's Five on Friday, I'm going to share with you my next round of five star predictions. That's right. It is time for another round of five star predictions. I will say my plan this year had been to pull books only from my owned TBR. And that is getting progressively harder as the year goes on. And I realized that there's a lot of books I think could be four stars, but five stars is really hard to predict. There are some that are more obvious than others, but I'm trying not to get too kind of repetitive. And I'll explain what I mean when I share my choices with you. So first up felt like a very obvious one, and that's Skander and the Phantom Rider. This is the second book in the Skander series, and I absolutely adored the first one. I think it was this close to getting a five star. So I'm hoping that the second book will build on everything I loved in the first book and give me that little extra nudge I need to get to the five star level. I have eagerly been anticipating this and I've had it on my shelf and I keep looking at it and wanting to read it, but being nervous because I want to love it as much as I love the first one. So when I was looking for five stars, this seemed like a no brainer because well, the, like I said, the first one came so incredibly close. The second book is The Sun and the Star. And this is one of the ones I had the debate with because this is one of two Percy Jackson Universe books that have come out this year. So I didn't want to put both of them on my five-star predictions. So then it was a debate. Do I put The Sun and the Star, which is the new book in the new universe, or do I go with Percy, Annabeth, and Grover? Most of Riordan's books have gotten five stars for me, so it seemed like a no-brainer, and I could have probably put both on here and been fairly confident that both were going to get five stars, but like I said, I didn't want to kind of repeat myself. It would be like having an entire five-star prediction TBR that was nothing but Warriors books. Feels a bit repetitive, so I decided to go with the new book. I know I'm going to love Annabeth, Grover, and Percy, I'm less certain on this one, and I thought that would make for a more fun video. So this is going to follow two characters, I believe, that we've met previously. I don't know if we get both their POVs, I'm hoping. Because I kind of know who it's centered around, but I haven't actually read the description, and I haven't really seen people talking about it, but I've also been avoiding it like the plague because it came out in May, and I didn't want to know what was happening. But like I said, I have loved basically every other Rick Riordan book I've read. I believe all of them have gotten in the four star range, if not four and a half or higher. So I have really, really high hopes for this book, which means there's a lot of pressure on it as well. And sometimes that doesn't necessarily go well because my hopes are so high that it doesn't live up to the impossible standards. But we're hoping that this book is going to give me those five star feels and I cannot wait to dive into it. Then... This is one I picked because I wasn't sure and I'm starting to struggle when looking at my TBR of finding books, like I said, that feel like they're going to be five stars but aren't repetitive. So I decided to go with I Must Betray You. And this is by Rudis the Petties and this is a historical fiction, sort of. And the reason I say this is because it takes place in Romania in 1989. And I know from talking to other people and kind of reading the community this is considered a historical fiction. But I was alive for this, and I feel like historical times happened before I was born. I really struggle with the idea of historical fiction happening in my lifetime, especially considering, like, I'm only 36. Although, funnily enough, I have literally seen books about, like, fictionalized versions of stories written about 9-11 be labeled historical fiction, and I'm going, no, 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 no. That happened too recently for it to be historical fiction. Um, so I kind of feel that way with this. So I'm going to say sort of, because I could totally understand if you were a 20 year old, this feeling like historical fiction to you. So I think it counts, but it also doesn't count. And I don't really care because I like Rudis the Petty's writing. So I'm hoping this works for me, whether it is a historical fiction or not. It certainly takes place in the past. I'll give it that. It says, Master storyteller Rudis Sepetis is back with a historical thriller that examines the little-known history of a nation defined by silence, pain, and the unwavering conviction of the human spirit. Okay, I like the idea of historical thriller. 
that makes me feel a little bit better because it feels less like they're labeling it as a true historical fiction and more as a thriller that takes place in the past. This is also YA, so that could affect my reading. But like I said, I've really enjoyed several of Ruta Sapetti's other books. Let me see, does she have a book list? Yes. Uh, Between Shades of Grey, Salt to the Sea, and The Fountains of Silence, I enjoyed all of those. I haven't read Out of the Easy. Those are the ones that are listed in here. So, I've enjoyed three out of four, and I'm pretty sure they all got like four and a half or five. So, I think this one was a good shout when I was looking at my shelves of a potential five-star read. Then I decided to go the safe, dependable route and go with One Star's Confession. So, Aaron Hunter, Warriors. There is a reason these books end up on so many of my TBRs. I love Aaron Hunter. One Star is a character I definitely know who he is and know some stuff about him, even though he's never been a cat whose POV we've gotten to share. I am very excited to dive into his story, and I'm hoping that I will really connect with him and fall in love with One Star in a way that I haven't been able to in the glimpses we've seen of him in other books, and that this will get the full five stars for me. At the very least, going with an Aaron Hunter is a safe bet that it is going to be in the four star range because I can't imagine them writing a super edition that I didn't love, especially about a character who I already have an opinion about and am going in knowing stuff about this character and having feelings towards him already. So feeling pretty confident this is going to be a high four, if not five. And then my last five star prediction for this round, The Treehouse Library by Anna James. So this is book five in the Book Wanderer series. And in the first book, we meet Tilly, who has the ability to book wander. She can go into her favorite books and experience the story. And she can pull her favorite story characters out of those stories and meet with them in the real world. It is expanded from there as we've met other book wanderers and we've had other POVs. In this one, we're following a different character. I don't want to say who in case that kind of spoils things for the first few books, but... I love the idea of being able to go and visit your favorite books and experience that world. I know for certain I grew up and there are books that I would love to be able to wander into and get to experience firsthand. So having that ability is something I've really enjoyed in the other books is getting to see how Tilly exercises that ability and knowing that it's not without its dangers and seeing her navigate that as well. I'm hoping this fifth installment, which I believe is the second to last book, will really connect with me and really kind of set things up for the last book in the series. And I'm very excited to be back with Tilly and Co. and seeing what's going on and seeing what books we wander into this time around. So I'm hoping they'll connect with me and I'll be able to give this an easy five stars. So there you have it. There's this round of five star predictions. Some of them feel more sure, like these two than the others. These two feel like they're definitely going to be in the four star range. This would be the one I'm least sure about, but based on past experience with the author, I have high hopes. I'm very excited to get to all of these and check them out. So fingers crossed I've picked some good ones. I'd love to know a book that you're hoping to get to in the near future that you think is going to be five stars. Let me know about it in the comments section below. All of my social media is linked in the description below if you'd like to come chat with me. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me star emojis, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!